of course, welcome back to Point FM 99.1, uh, trying to line that interview up, uh, Springer. Yeah, we're trying to get um, Earl Basden um, on, online, and we just gave you a sneak preview. Um, come Monday, um, that is going to be the timeout team that is going to be organizing. So we just gave you a little sneak interview in terms of what's going to be happening. At Here comes the man himself. The well, I want to thank you, Mr. Springer and Mr. Edwards for allowing me some time on Time Out Sports on Point FM for the opportunity to talk about Bermuda Sports during this time of world uncertainty with COVID-19. Bermuda Sports, like the rest of the world, has been halted and the financial impact for Bermuda Sports and the world will not be known for some years to come. In football here in Bermuda with one league match remaining, for all teams in the Premier Division. The league title has been wrapped up by the North Village Rams, but any one of four teams can take the plunge to the First Division. Two points separate sixth place Devonshire Cougars and ninth place Somerset Eagles with a 10-team division with the Boulevard Blazers already relegated. In the First Division, two teams have already guaranteed themselves promotion. However, Devonshire Colts are the current leaders on the table with 38 points, but they have played all their matches, while St. Georgia's Colts are in second with 37 points with one game to play. On Wednesday, the Bermuda Football Association released an update stating the Bermuda Football Association's Executive Council met recently to discuss the current COVID-19 pandemic and the continued impact on the end of its current 2019-2020 football season. The Executive Council considered all relevant information inclusive of venue availability, player safety, scheduling, competition rules, etc. Soft plans have been developed for several scenarios that could impact football. It was decided that as a result of the pandemic and all known information, the following will be undertaken for the current season. One, the season inclusive of all leagues, Premier, First and Youth, FA Cup Final and Youth Knockout Finals must be completed by May 31st. Two, clubs will be notified no later than May 17th whether matches will proceed and which matches will be played per above, which will give two weeks of training and match preparation. Three, should the government declare it is still unsafe to resume sporting and other community activities, then the Executive Council will communicate the plans to address bringing the 2019-2020 season to a close. Four, in the event that the government takes the decision to reopen the island and allow the playing of sporting and other community events sooner, the Executive Council will advise when football will resume but will still provide the two-week period of training and match preparation. And finally, please note that the player release period will not be impacted by any of the above decisions as the deadline will remain July 15th. This will be further communicated once a decision is taken on the completing of the season. The Bermuda Cricket Board season was due to start the final week of April. However, they've planned an online meeting with all club presidents and secretaries with the Cricket Board President Lloyd Smith and Cricket Chairman Stephen Douglas to be on the call. Bermuda was due to host the second ITU Series event of 2020, the MS Emlyn World Triathlon in Bermuda, which was scheduled April 18th. However, the Executive Board of the International Triathlon Union decided to suspend all activity till April 30th thus moving Bermuda out of the position to host the event on April 18th. As we in the Caribbean also know that Bermuda has been forced to postpone the 2020 Carifta Games that was scheduled April 10th through to the 13th. So we would have been hosting the Carifta Games those four days and then the ITU World Triathlon five days later, but both of those have been postponed or cancelled. On March 13th, the Minister of Sport, Levita Fogo, and the Bermuda National Athletic Association President, Donna Reyna, jointly held a press conference to announce the postponement of the Carifta Games. Also president of the North American, Central American, and Caribbean Athletic Association, which make up NACAC, President Mike Sands, in his view, does not want the Carifta Games, if rescheduled, to go beyond August of this year. So the Bermuda National Athletic Association president, Donna Reyna, has indicated that it's her hope that the Carifta Games will take place this year in Bermuda, and also reiterates that the local organizing committee is ready to host the Games. Bermuda was also due to host 
host the Bermuda Open Squash Tournament. We had some 32 professional squash players coming to the island to take part, but the tournament director back on March 12th indicated after much discussion with the Bermuda government, the PSA, and with members of the Bermuda Squash Records Association Committee, they decided to postpone the event that was due to be held March 17th through to the 20th. Currently, we're waiting for further updates from government regarding Bermuda Day, which will be celebrated on May 29th this year. This is the day where the island shuts down and we host a 13.1 mile cycle race called the Sinclair Packwood Memorial Race. And also this day, we run the Bermuda Day Half Marathon Derby, which is the race for bragging rights for all runners in Bermuda. We're also waiting for an update on our cup match classic this is where the island shuts down for two days for a cricket match between st george's cricket club and the somerset cricket club this traditional match is well over 100 years you know it was great news yesterday as the olympic solidarity programs related to the olympic games tokyo 2020 will continue back in 2018 it was announced that flora duffy cecilia woman tyrone smith trey houston and janai parent chief received olympic scholarships through the international olympic committee's olympic solidarity and we're hoping and that this will remain in place for these athletes for the Olympics in 2021. We have heard from most of our elite athletes as well as our professional athletes in various sports just to see how they're coping around the world. We have our national football captain, Dante Levrock. He's in Poland. We have one of our athletes who have already qualified for the Olympics for dressage in Annabelle Collins. She's in Europe. We have our triathlete, Flora Duffy, in South Africa. And we have other athletes all across the globe that we are in touch with, just making sure that they are coping and we keep Bermuda informed with what they're doing as well. It was announced yesterday that the PGA Bermuda Open Golf Championships are still scheduled for October 26th through to November 1st at this time. While we have no word on when the Bermuda National Rugby Team will play their Caribbean match that was scheduled for this year. Bermuda is set to host the Junior Caribbean Triathlon Championships later this year as well. We are yet to hear any updates on that but we anticipate hearing some news on the Junior Triathlon on as well as many other sporting events all in good time. The Bermuda government issued a curfew from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. that began this past Sunday, but just yesterday, the Premier asked the Governor to declare a state of emergency for Bermuda based on what is now necessary to intensify the fight against the virus and to direct the Bermuda residents. They must shelter in place for a period of 14 days. Starting at 6 a.m. on Saturday, April 4th, this country will be under a 24-hour requirement to shelter in place for an initial period of 14 days. So we're hoping to hear more from the government as we progress through the curfew to see when we will return to some normalcy. I hope this is covered enough for you gentlemen and I hope that you and your listeners remain well. Thanks again and have a great day. Of course that is our guy there on in Bermuda. Springer. Earl Basden um, he runs islandstats.com and thank you very much Earl for giving us a, a comprehensive update in terms of what's happening with sports in Bermuda is down to host the Carifta Games 2020. And, Epilus, um, did you get to hear a little bit of the story there with the football? You, you... Yes, was listening. Uh, you know, uh, Bermuda is a place, uh, a lovely place. I've been there a few times, obviously, to play football. A very organized little country it is. And uh, I remember the first time we went there, we visited uh, the prison. And the thing that came to my mind was that there was only nine people in the prison. Yeah. And that's a long time ago. And yeah. That, yeah, that was like 98. Yeah, and, and you know, the, one of the things they also um, touched on, they're very um, passionate folks when it comes to sport. Um, you, A lot of folks from around the, the Leeward Islands and so their families would have, you know, gone over to Bermuda. But as Epler said, they would have been able to organize it in a very structured way. Make sure that you... Ch-